Hello everyone, precious brothers and sisters, Sunday, April 28th, 2013. I really don't think the enemy wants me to present this dream to each and every one of you for interpretation. I have been fighting a battle and I have my full armor of God on. I've had to do take after take after take, but nothing is going to stop me. I want to present this dream for interpretation. Now when I went to sleep Friday night, when I awoke Saturday morning, this dream was very clear, it still is, um, very vivid, full color, and I want to make mention, I'm going to come back to share a dream that my wife had as well. Her dream, I truly uh, believe to be some type of nuclear event that has taken place. Very well could be the case with my dream, and I'm going to present it to you um, right now. I believe the dream uh, to be somewhere in maybe the suburbs of a large metropolitan city, if not a large city. I live here in the country, and we don't really have, we have very few sidewalks and no alleys. And in my dream, this is why I believe it to be in the suburbs of a large city. I am trying to get away, and I'm cutting through this alley. Now, I want to make mention that I've, it seems I've been having these vivid, full-color dreams more frequently now than I've had in the past. And I want to make it clear, it's not the type of dream that may be in the back of our subconscious where something we've watched on the internet or some news uh, that we have read during the day. And then this is in the back of our mind when we go into our dream state. It's not all uh, jumbled up in bits and pieces, black and white and cloudy. Parts make sense and parts don't. That's not the type of dream. This is very, very vivid, very clear, direct. It's not a long dream, and and right to the message or warning. And remember, I will be back to share my wife's dream. Now, here is the dream. I'm walking, and I know it's, uh, we're in the United States of America. There is a massive, massive crowd of people gathered around this complex, and they're all speaking English. Now, it's either the springtime, like right now, or summer, because well, the grass is green. And people are walking around in short sleeve shirts and um, light jackets. So I'm walking, I notice how green the grass is, and uh, I see this massive, massive complex or compound. I don't know what this place is. And I see hundreds and hundreds of people, and they're sobbing, and they're crying, men and women, and they, and they are just sobbing. And I noticed all these wooden boxes lined up in row upon row. There must have been thousands upon thousands. This place was a, a huge, massive complex. And I'm trying to get to these people to console them, because now my heart's breaking. I see the, I see the grief, and I want to go, and I want to console them. And I'm curious, what are these wooden boxes? And the closer I get, I see there's no lids on the boxes. Now, when I approach this complex and I look, there are charred remains, charred, burnt to a crisp, human remains inside of all of these boxes. And these people are crying, saying, you've got to leave, it's too late, it's just too late, you've got to get out of here. And I'm looking, and there are what I believe to have been little children, babies and young children, where their bodies are charred and burnt. And I start to see some of them are moving, and they're, they're not dead, and I'm crying out. They're alive. Some of these children are alive. You've got to get them help. And then someone comes up to me. It's a, a young man, maybe like 16, 17. And he's pulling on me, on my, on my arm. He said, you've got to get out of here. You've got to get out of here. We're all doomed. So he says, take this alleyway. So I don't know what to do. I feel so bad. Everybody's crying. But all of these bodies and all of these wooden uh, boxes, I'm not going to say coffins. They were just square boxes with no lids. And they were all burnt. And these people, they looked like they had sores on them. Uh, spots on their face and their hands as they're crying and what happened here what happened here but maybe I need to get away from here so I'm cutting through this alley and there's a house on one side and a house on the other and a man's in his yard and he puts his hands 
like this. He says, it's happening. It's happening. And I said, what is happening? What's happening over there? What's happening? And I'm getting frantic. And he says, look up. I look up. And I don't know what this is. Now, I'm not into Planet X and Nibiru, and I don't really follow that, but there is what appears to be a planet where the sun should be. The sun is shining. So I'm not going to say the the uh, the uh, three days of darkness. It's not implied here. The sun is shining brightly. But there's this bright red planet, and I see something bright on the side of this planet. And... It's kind of hurting my eyes, and I'm watching as this light gets brighter and brighter and brighter. And now I'm kind of shielding my eyes, and there is this, I don't know how to explain it, this gigantic figure coming, and this is in this light. And as this figure is approaching Earth, coming from the clouds, I can see how massive that this being is and it's in the shape of a male I believe it to be either an, an archangel either Michael or Gabriel and very masculine very muscular but this figure is it's like it's made of crystal and it's kind of just coming down just slowly and it sets down and it lifts its leg and it sets it on a rock and then I notice on the leg it's some type of uh, like a shin guard of armor and just like a brown or a bronze color and he points to the heavens and I look up again and then it, there's just like this vortex and it starts swirling the whole sky I don't see that planet anymore and it becomes like a vortex I was watching on YouTube I forget where it's at there was this in this, uh, this vortex in the water and everything was getting sucked up into it and there was this vortex and it was spinning and spinning and I could see things going up into this vortex and then the crowds of people that were crying and sobbing some were being caught up into this vortex that's when I woke up it wasn't a lot of people and I believe this to be a sign of the rapture I don't I know how to relate to the bodies the charred bodies and remains in these boxes and how some were alive but this vortex in the sky was massive huge huge uh, must have been 30 over 30 feet tall this figure but it looks like it was made of crystal not really transparent just crystal with the oh my goodness the brown and like the leather straps on his legs pointing up to this vortex and there were people starting to go up I wanted to share this with you for interpretation I will be back Ooh, I got it through I mean the enemy did not want me to present this video and then I will I don't know what the charred bodies mean if it was some type of nuclear blast or event that had taken place there was no trumpet sound um, but my wife's dream you really I, I will be back um, as long as she feels that I should present it for interpretation all right let me know your interpretation of my dream God bless you.